10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Happy New Year's. Actually, never mind. Happy Winter 2022, because it's a new Trackmania campaign. It seems like I have to reboot my game. Just give me, give me one moment. Winter 2022, we're going to discover all the tracks and try to beat the author medals and see if there's any track that I want to play for a world record or if there's any track we find a shortcut on. Things like that. See what we uh, we think. We're going on to the first map, Winter 01. There was a screenshot of this leaked on Twitter and it showed a massive ice downhill. And I think this might be 25. It's such a big track and this does not look easy. That's 01? Hey, it's ice downhill. Oh, it's white, you're right. Yeah, white borders. Oh my. And you can see it right there. Pretty terrifying. Let's take a look. Okay, so you already want to ice wiggle here. I'm 100% sure. Okay. Ah. Oh no. That's all the metal. <laughs> First try. Uh, I think we'll go back to this one later, but it looks like a cool map. Pretty, that, that was nice. You can ice wiggle all the way down. We have second map. Derek on the leaderboard, guys, is a developer. So he's play tested the maps. O2 is dirt. I like the aesthetics with all the winter trees and stuff. All the signs. The cold looking water. It does match the season. We are speedrun. We are actually speedrunning. That's two for two. Uh, next one. Grass. Oh, so the, are they doing like one of every style for the first tracks? I actually like that. Because now it gives each track a very recognizable thing. Like one is grass, one is dirt, one is... Tech. Maybe we'll have uh, plastic as well. I don't know. That was not author metal, that was only gold. I'm washed up. But I think it was because of this turn. Oh, it's full speed. Uh, this might not be gold second, uh, author second time. <laughs> nah, we should be fine here. Okay, I quite like that map. I think uh, it's going to be fun in matchmaking because these first five maps are the ones uh, you get if you start playing matchmaking and they look pretty, pretty good. Sausage blocks. Oh, no. Okay, clean jump. That is a drift. Into what? Into another drift. Huh. Whoa, that's a fast author time. So you can jump diagonally here to reduce air time. Definitely. Early drift through that corner. That was a bit too much on the brakes though. I also like that the gates there show you how the turn moves. But yeah, relatively, this is a faster author time. You can't make as uh, many mistakes to beat this one. As the previous ones. Need more speed in this turn. Like that. And then that probably snowballs into this turn. You can land here and go. Yeah. So if you get good speed on the first drift, it solves the track for you. Next one. Let's keep going. Now we have the final one. World record. Oh my god. I guess I just got world record on a track that five people played. <laughs> Insane. You could call me uh, Carl Jr. already. Whoa, this is quite the step up from the previous tracks in uh, difficulty. Are beginners going to be able to do that? Hopefully. Okay. Here you definitely don't want to touch the water. I love the aesthetic though. This is a cool track. But is it too difficult for beginners? Hmm. Maybe not. It's one jump. 
But yeah, this jump right here. Ah, oh, that'll be fine. I hope. <laughs> Let's hope they will manage. Oh. All right. I got a trophy for beating all the first five. Wait, Hefest, you got BO7? Did you get BO7 world record right now? And then, I'm not, I'm not gonna say the line. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not gonna say the stupid ass line. Congratulations, Hafest, alright? The map was B07? Oh, the previous map was a BO7 remake, but they extended it. I didn't even notice. I'm not looking for remakes, but yeah, you're right. That threw me for such a spin. <laughs> I thought you got it, FS. I was like, damn, you're spamming BO7. All right, FS, you gotta grind that one. After you're, uh, after you're done with TMNF, come and grind uh, BO7 in here. Okay, no, so here you have to release, I think. Start, get early booster. Because you want to... Oh, that's terrible gear. You want to gear up before uh, the turn. Dude, I am bad at this game. Difficult gears here. This track has so many difficult gears. Okay, it's enough. Uh, now I'm gonna keep my eyes open though for uh, for potential remake tracks because sometimes they bring tracks from the older games into the new games. I want to go here because it looked uh, intended. So we have wet wheels on road, more wet wheels. These water bounces seem to be more and more common. There's a trick for them. I don't know how to do it properly. But uh, I'll have to learn that. And finish. Okay, it's fast enough. How do you show the times for each medal? It's uh, Open Planet. It's a plugin for the game. So I use Open Planet and we can see the author time. Here, 2868 is the author time. And we have ice. The first ice track. 06 is now ice track. Or is this 09? No, 08, sorry. I'm glad that's platform and not ice, because that would be terrible. <laughs> oh, this is one I might like a lot. Bobsleigh without any like terrible start. That's pretty cool. Like it was just normal driving in Bobsleigh. Maybe a virtual track. Yeah, maybe a virtual track. I might might grind that a little bit. React booster. Oh, we have plastic. I will say plastic for me is that surface I understand the least. Just don't get it. Do not understand. But I also don't put off any time to learning it, so. I'm confused. What did I do wrong? I had very low speed, but. Oh, it's just. Oh, that, that's literally it. <laughs> Just go faster. And then high here. You want to go high in that one to get speed here. Oh no. I missed it. So early turn. Is there a way to skip the reset? No. Hmm. If there was, that would be fast. I'm sure we're going to see like in five days someone find just the most elaborate way to skip the reset. Like drive out of stadium for three minutes, install a new client on your PC, do everything, bypass the reset, and then it's going to be like, wow, yes, new shortcut. It only loses two and a half minutes. I think this could be viable. Let's see. Here's 
Here we go, finally. Kept the upper gear, that's Arthur Metal. Nine. C ton. I'm hoping for a full speed track still. I'm also hoping for um for a shortcut. We have ice, and there, there's gonna be more ice. I'm not really worried about ice. But full speed and a potential shortcut would be fun. That would give me something to uh to grind a little bit. Oh. Hit the wall. Oh, this is oh, oh, okay. Interesting track. I do uh, like the aesthetics again. The scenery is always very clean on the campaign tracks. Like if you got this map in a random challenge, right, and you didn't see the author, you'd kind of guess it was an official track. So in some way, they're hitting the same type of scenery on each one. At the same time though, I'd also wish they maybe pushed it a little bit more, you know? Okay, 10th. Norway domination right now, guys. We have every fastest record in Norway. Seen better in the competitions, but it's the same thing too. Like you don't want to make scenery so confusing that it's difficult for new players to understand where to go. And now we have bobsleigh. Is it a full bobsleigh track? 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 It looks like it's a full bobsleigh track. This makes me very happy. This makes me actually quite happy on the inside. If there's just more and more bobsleigh as I keep driving this track. Holy shit. It is. I gotta buy my uh, keys. <laughs> oh, it's cool. Yo, holy shit. What a map. Okay. Why buying keys? Because you don't want to full sear on bobsleigh. You want action key four. If you are uh, trying to go faster here, turn on action key four in each bobsleigh turn and steer fully. Or you can use uh, just smooth steering if you're a controller or whatever, but you cannot full steer in bobsleigh turns. It's not how the surface works. It's a cool map, I think. It's just hard to uh, do it properly. Okay, earlier. Yeah, that's better. Oh god. Good save. Good speed. Ah, I committed too early. Oh. Okay, I think that's it. Author metal for now. I'll come back to this. I want to grind this a little bit later. Full speed? I saw a wall ride. Is it full speed? Oh my god, they're hitting everything right now. Ice, bobsleigh, full speed. Good campaign. And this looks like they, they intentionally wanted to keep it pretty slow. With the water and everything. Because whenever you're under 400 speed, you can't really speed slide. So you want to have a more like... Plain FS track, rather than full speed slide Bonanza. Yeah, this is clearly full speed. Uh, do not think that pays off on a full speed track. Crashing. But really cool uh, concept. I'm an enjoyer. Nice. Plus wide. Ooh, we made it. I'm scared for the, the steering tricks there though. Wait. What? Did my back wheels... Oh. Can your back wheels not touch the thing? Because I clearly touched the dirt, but maybe your back wheels can skip it. That might be difficult to do. Because, like, you want to do the steering trick in the water, but, uh... <laughs> it might make you skip the dirt block that resets water wheels. Ooh. 
That was not a good turn, but it should be enough for Arthur it is. All right, next one. So far though, really good. A really good campaign. We're only halfway and I really like the map so far. Interesting start to this one. Huh. This has to be a remake of something, right? Although I've never seen the start before. <laughs> but it just felt old. <laughs> it felt really old. Somehow. Looks like a link map. I think the record uh, also confirms that uh, turbo. Okay. Well, that was author. Four seconds behind Link. Again, a Link record. The one who made this map. <laughs> what do we have here? Narrow dirt. Okay. Okay. That's fun. I like that. Freewheeling. This feels kind of like um, 15 from the previous campaign. I think they took a lot of inspiration from the previous one. But it was a good track, so... I can appreciate that. Bit slow for the author. Let's try again. So you definitely want to go outside, pull there. Get a better approach here. And I think this full speed. Fail it though. And I hope that's enough. Because I didn't bother resetting the crash. It's not enough. I have to do it again. <laughs> Looks fun. I think this is like good in matchmaking. Because that's the thing too. Like these maps will all be added to the ranked pool. So later on, I think we're going to put these, uh, take this for a spin in matchmaking. See if we uh, meet someone else on these uh, these tracks. Also, the there's all, every season um, a regional tournament. It's like Norway versus Germany, etc., etc. All on these tracks. Terrible end. I just need to not lose too much time. I did lose too much time. Lost uh, way too much time in the last turn. <laughs> this is the first one that I kind of struggle with a little bit. The first ones were one shot, but this one has taken me quite a few times now. Better turn here. Try to reduce the air time there. This is still more than fast enough to beat the other time. It's just this corner is hard to aim. There we go. That's it. Oh. We're through. Next map. Winter 15. Sausage block map with plastic. Oi, oi, oi. With cruise control? Looked skippable though. With a bounce. Maybe you can skip the cruise control. Question is, would it save time? It definitely looks like you can skip that block. It locks your speed, the cruise control. That's cool and all. Drop in here. And up. I like that it makes your speedometer blue. That's a good uh, little detail. Oh my god, no, no. <sighs> we'll go again. Mistakes happen. It's a new campaign. These mistakes happen. If you never make mistakes, how will you know where to avoid them? Now I can just drive a faster run and actually do uh, the end turn correctly. That's the plan. Like that, like that. Yes, yes. Oh, all planned. <laughs> okay, that's the first uh, 15 tracks. So far, so good. Let's keep going. So far, I'm top one on every track in Norway. But um, I predict that will change when Aerosol starts playing. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Oh. So now we're in red, and this is already a bit crazy. The reactor turns. You can tell, if you think back to like the first tracks now, just how much more advanced the blocks and the turns have gotten. Also higher speed, I feel. Like there's less breaks in between things happening too. Which is a nice step up, and probably, more than likely, the metals are also harder, yes. Like here, I was three seconds behind author time. So uh, this is a hard metal. No slide to start. And then you just want to barely grab this one before going full left and to full right. Oh, this is smooth though. This is a clean track, developers. I like it. I think right side. I'm going to try going right side. Because you get kind of like a... Yeah, it's a wider... Yeah, right side should be the play there. For anyone playing at home, try right side. I think that's the one. You go a little too fast there if you're not careful. And you fly off. So you have to, like, release maybe even. That actually worked out really smoothly. Just a quick release. That's fast. Upper gear, okay. This is looking like the run for this off metal. That's a pretty tough metal time. This is maybe the toughest one yet to get, because that, that was no crashes, good gears, some safing of course, but like, that was not easy. This is ice. Was it just a bait? They put one ice block to get my hopes up and now it's full grass. Oh man. Oh. Okay. Uh, yes. I understand. Interesting map. Certainly. You, you have no time to line this up. What is that jump? You get absolutely no time to line it up. It's just instantly go to the side. It's crazy. But I understand their thinking as well. Though. Not every map can be an ice track because then ice tracks aren't as hype. If they made every track an ice track, it wouldn't be fun. It's like having your birthday every single day. It wouldn't feel special. Or it's like, uh, it's like me getting a world record. Do you guys know that? That's why I don't get a lot of world records. It's because I want them to feel special. And if I unleash my true potential and I play like like half fast, which I'm very capable of, then just each world record would mean less. So that's really why I, I get like one per year uh, in a good year, you know? I'm just saving them like a birthday. If you're watching this on YouTube and you're seeing people spamming a uh, green frog, that is uh, actually, uh, yeah, that means, um, that means that they agree with what I said. It's confirmium is the emote that they're spamming. It's a, uh, it's, uh, <laughs> It's a substance. When you confirm what someone says, you spam that in chat. Uh, so this is uh, way behind author time. Great. That was, that was gold. Gotta, gotta go again. What a terribly difficult map. But I did go very high on the jumps. So. So you just optimize that a little bit. Then you're talking. This is one second faster. Just about. Lost a lot of speed. And now, slow down. Oh, 
Okay. Clean. Good luck, boys, with this auth metal. Hardest one yet, and I think one a lot of people are gonna struggle with. It's so hard to aim and also do proper uh Yeah no, that was that was not the easiest. But hey, a fun challenge, right? If we get every auto medal in one hour, what are we gonna spend the next three months at? Take it as a fun challenge to try to beat all. Even that one. Oh. Ah. What? You jump into the water here. Then you get a lot of speed. Then you go where? Ending off. Into. Left turns. This is very technical. Sharp turns always usually means drifts. Good rule of thumb. When you just see a track for the first time, if you see a sharp turn, think, okay, I'm gonna drift there. If you see a long turn, it's probably built full speed, like here. <laughs> Water scary. Did you get speed for that? No, it just looked weird. The screen was moving fast, but that was slow. Also nowhere near where you want to end up on the track. So complete uh, wrong line. Wait, since you have since you have engine off, no sorry, since the engine off block is, um, yeah, you don't need to drift. Also my brain is kinda, kinda melting. Cause uh, it was New Year's yesterday, and not only did I drink a lot in the evening, but I also started a drinking game with Carlberg at 6 a.m. where we played um, tech. And whoever won the tech round had to take five sips to balance out the match and the loser had to gift a sub. So the loser would always gift one sub, but the winner had to drink five sips. And we played five minute rounds. <laughs> so. I won like six rounds in a row and then I started losing. Cause I, I was, it was not, I'm a lightweight. It was not good for me. But the best part was that we never negotiated who would pay out the gift subs. So we ended up blackmailing Mudgy into paying the gift subs. So Mudgy gifted both me subs and Carlberg subs. And we only got drunk. So it was like a good trade. All in all, a good night. <laughs> pretty, pretty solid evening. Oh, don't tell me I lost, I lost, yeah, I lost it on time. Lost it all in one turn. Dude, the author medals are getting, getting better. I cannot one shot anymore. I need a couple of, a couple of minutes to learn the tracks. I think they're about the same level as uh, last campaign though. What I've realized too, uh, if you steer when the car is underwater, it will do that little hop thing. So you can't steer when it's underwater. You have to just commit. My God. This run will be the one. I'm done with this map. Witness me. Just a little bit of focus. That's, that was one too many fails here. Now I have to uh, try my, my dearest. My damnedest? I don't know. We're out of here. We got the Ultimate 118, another difficult one, but really just a, a bit of a weird track. I didn't get the flow of it. 19, which was an ice track in the previous campaign. This looks more like multi-style stuff. You have grass, we have platform right here. Oh, here. And then, oh, this gives me throwback 
uh, vibes. Not to any TMNF track, but just to the old winter campaign. That aesthetics. Like winter 2021 campaign. Uh, this is a very hectic track. That's safe route. Into finish here somewhere. Okay. Yeah, that's not easy. Also though, this type of track that could potentially have a shortcut. This is like the just the style for it. Some tracks are a little bit too forced in their layout, but this is kind of open. It's not just A to B to C, but it's a bit more free flowing. I'm gonna go for left finish here because it looked easier to avoid the trees. And I'm two seconds behind author. Two seconds. Here, I want to somehow get the booster without getting the booster. No, I'm missing something. I'm definitely missing something. What am I missing? This felt like the way to play the track. Is there a secret thing? Here. Do you drop to booster to... Oh, maybe it's this. But that seems weird. Yeah, let's try that. Because I'm losing a second to the author time with a clean tech run. Like here. This was the one mistake in the previous one. Let me just take this now, because I failed. Wait, that is fast, though, because you get more speed. Hmm. Oh, wait. I, oh, no, I see it. Guys, I saw it. I just saw it. I just saw it. You jump from plastic up on the platform. You see this? You just go up there. That's what you need. But I think the reactor thing was actually kind of worth it. And that was with plus 81 at one point. So this approach will get the medal. I'm not sure if it's the best way to play this, but I found it myself. So hey, I'm proud. I don't want to use someone else's recipe. I'll make my own. Bad. Ooh. Just gotta end the finish, it's enough. And we get that. Okay, that is 19. I think another pretty hard off metal. Let's go on. 20. Already the times here, this looks full speed. Looking at the player times, this is a full speed track. Because usually you have very small margins and also a close author count. So I think this is full speed. But if you fail a little bit, it can end up like that. Oh, it's actually ah uh, yeah, just a speed track. I, think. I mean, everything isn't full speed. Through the loop and oh ah uh, oh no. Okay, we're fine. One more time. Hectic track. My brain is overloaded. With things like, okay, okay. I'll try to remember. <laughs> Holy, that's a lot. Start now. It's left through here. And if you get enough speed, this next jump will also work. Like that. And then they place pulls. After that, I think I remember. No, okay, I think I remember it now. God damn it. Give me a break. Look, I'll line it up here and then. And then I'll go right side. Great map. Love it. Love it so far. Can you make the jump? I don't trust it. Yeah, no, you can't, I think. Like directly to the curved block. Oh, that's slow, if you touch that. I touched one grain of snow, and my car dropped the gear. Is there an angle, do you guys think? To go there? Maybe we have to go uh, to the middle finish again. But that might be... 
in the in the cards. Okay, let's go here. Wide setup. That's slow. <laughs> Ooh, that is very slow. In terms of speed. That's fast, and now... Okay. Full right. Okay, got that one. That is the first 20 tracks. If you look at medals, you have five more to go. Let's get into it. You look cozy today, new gaming sweater. I'm wearing this. It's a cardigan. I don't know what it's called. I had it at my parents' place, and I forgot to bring it up here when I moved. But now I thought, you know, it's the season. Let's uh, let's bring in the, the cozy sweaters. Oh, wrong track. No, I thought it was the wrong track. 21. <laughs> I thought I was going to play 20. I had it in my brain like, oh, I'm going to play map 20. Never mind. <laughs> Guys, I'm so Pepega today. Holy shit. I'm seriously Pepega. Thank you for uh, enduring this time with me. Slow day after New Year's. Today? Yes, today. Come on. It's only today. This is a wild part. They just straight up made an underwater turn. Okay, well, that left tap was unfortunate. There we go. Okay, they have some flair in this map. The first black track. Definitely added some flair. What's the end gonna look like? One pole. Will there be anyone who loses their record run to that pole? Probably. Very probably. Again though, this type of map is one where you could see shortcuts. Like, if you're gonna find one, it's probably in a map like this, where the lines aren't so forced. Try to keep good speed into the water, that's probably gonna pay off. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, it's cool, but it's also extremely difficult to drive that part. Because the car slides very... unpredictably. This was a turn. <laughs> I'm so lost today. This was a turn. Okay, we're one second behind the author medal. For sure a turn there. Oh my god. We'll get through this. It's just having to concentrate so intensely on something with a semi-functional brain is difficult. Point three. Oh, Not me. I was gonna make fun of others for doing that, not me. No. See, my plan was to laugh at others doing that, not crash at myself. Something went wrong in the script. We are going into the finish. Still about half a second behind the time we need. I think keeping the upper gear here is a good move. It is. Wide platform into early downhill. Into that. And now here, this is a long drift, right? So you go here. Yes! Oh, I understand it now. Okay, that... Well, okay. Ish. <laughs> Good brain state right before Khaki? True. <laughs> Very true. Khaki isn't as difficult as campaign. Like, learning a campaign track. Khaki maps are short. Here you have to see a turn and then put it into your brain and memorize it. And then remember exactly how much to tap, steer, how much to break in every single one when you get there later on again. Like, here I know now I have more space. Khaki is just cargo brr. Ah. That's a little speed that it will not be off time. The next one I have it. Next one I have it. Hey, Virtual, hope you're doing good. Thank you, Tarson. I'm, uh... <laughs> I'm doing great right now. Slowly but surely getting there. Nah, guys, we got this, we got this. Look, I'm plus 20, doesn't matter. Because we have the comeback. I 
I will recover this uh, disadvantage. Oh. Bad gear, but that's okay. It's such a sharp turn, that's what I always forget. But now I remember it, and look. That's all the time. Nothing can go wrong in the end. <laughs> there we go. Next map, four more to go. Thank you guys for all the resubs and stuff, by the way. I'll I'll go through alerts after uh, the campaign playthrough. Thank you so much, I see them in chat. Okay, now we're in my domain. We have ice, and this is not just ice. This is, this is, like, difficult ice. Oh, it's a little bit earlier ice slide into that ish, ish. What? Oh God. Okay. Yeah, good luck, everyone. <laughs> Little Timmy installs Strike Mania for the first time after seeing half us do uh, world records. I'm gonna become the best! And then he, and then he plays this track. Good luck, Timmy. Whew, that is tough. And the author medal is 59? Okay. Yeah, that is tough. Do you guys think anyone will uh, beat Nick on this? Will someone finally beat Nick on ice? Is this the season where it happens? Will we live to see it? Will it happen in our lifetime? I find it hard to believe, but at the same time, you know, some people are getting good at ice. Okay, so. Yes, good. You need a lot of speed here to get an ice slide early. I don't know how I'm losing so much time to my ghost there. Does it just enter the ice later or something? Or is it- oh, it's an ice wiggle, I think. Accidentally. It's just good driving. Something we are critically lacking. Like that. See that one turn? 0.3. But now I have more speed into the next turn. What does that do for the next split? Yeah. <laughs> That's ice. So let's go. Oh, you didn't have to touch that. Or did I? Perfect landing? Not bad. Seventh right now, and we got author. Let's go next. The, the world record there is already really strong though. They did a good time, Yeet and Tiger Shark. 23, we're almost through the campaign, boys. Two more maps after this. Let's have a look. 23 has usually been technical grass, and it looks like the same. Gonna do one full run through, I think, and then... <laughs> My brain literally just forgot what happened 10 seconds ago and I, I repeated this exact same thing. I forgot that happened to my car, so I just, I did the same thing. Interesting. Red boost. No brakes fragile? Are you serious? You put no brakes fragile? Okay. What? Am I playing? Hmm, not bad. That's a wild map though. Did not really see myself hunting this one, to be fair. Has there not been a reset? Wait. Oh, there was, there was, yeah. I thought you could still get fragile, but you can't. 
the water. And then... Finish. Okay, that was interesting. Surely this has a shortcut? You'd hope, because the intended path is very difficult. Also kind of clean though. The start I really like. This part I found very weird. This is like when someone discovers the effect block menu and they place everything at once. This is someone at Nadeo who discovered that uh, <laughs> that folder of blocks exists in the game and plays everything at the same time. Oh, there's a red boost. Oh wait, there's fragile too? And no breaks and slow-mo? Oh my god. Let's do everything in one. <laughs> Seems kind of fast to get all through here. That was three seconds off. I saw a few things though. Don't slide out, don't slide out, don't slide out. Ah, 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 why? Why? What am I doing wrong? Okay, okay. Uh, too slow? Oh, I need a little bit more time. I can get in the jump, actually, if I set this up properly. Yes? Come on! I just want to be free! That's four hundreds away! But I feel like I did everything at right! What did I do wrong? Uh. Okay, that was fast though. That's late for this turn. But that's actually very good. Neo slide. Nice. Oop up. Need to get on here. Guess that old ghost had a really good one. Okay, two maps left. We're in 24 right now. Yeah, this looks hard. Also, world record only being two seconds faster than author time might make this pretty difficult. Wall ride though, this is understandable. Oh, that's far. I had it perfect. Complete luck, but I'll take it. Right turn? That makes sense. What? <laughs> That's interesting. That is very interesting. I think you want a plastic bouncer too, but... That's a cool turn. Oh, okay. Uh, How many tricks are they going to add on one map? So that was, yeah, that was like 109-ish. I need to be two seconds out of this before the end. What are you guys' thoughts on the campaign so far, if you played it, or just watch me play it? Do you guys enjoy it? I think a lot of very technical tracks, which is a good thing. Like, we want to see, you know, something we haven't seen before, but uh, <laughs> quite, uh, quite difficult at the same time. That's wide. Into that. So I said I need two seconds. That's already one second gain. It's full speed. Oh no, it's not. Okay, you don't need a lot of speed. So for the next turn there, since it's so early, you actually don't need to take a lot of the red booster. You kind of just turn around, get like a little bit of it, and then go. Which of these tracks were the worst? I think the one with the quarter pipe jumps. There were two or three big quarter pipe jumps. I did not like at all. 16? 15, 16? Something like that was no, the worst, the worst so far. Just too blind, I think. It's lacking a lot of visibility.
I think that's ish how you want to do it. Now I'm two seconds ahead. And then we have the reactor thing, which was very scary. Low. Uh, late, 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 late. What do you- Whoa, 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 okay. We got there. One more. Last one. 25 usually has a little bit of everything, so let's see. Starts out with water and plastic. Everyone's favorite combo. Everyone loves water and plastic. It's just like the, the best match in the universe. Like, wow, they're made for each other. That's what, that's what I think when I say, yeah, more. Oh, that's, yes. This is what we needed. Oh, there's more? Oh, that's... Water plastic loop. Ah. Ah. This is scary. I'm scared playing this track. <laughs> Not my favorite, I should say, so far. I did ask for an underwater. What? Left? Oh. I understand. That is a wild track. Very wild track. Pretty drivable. Despite the circumstances that you're playing with the least amount of grip in the game. So like, if you're gonna make a water plastic track, you kind of have to do it this way. But I think they did a good job with that. It's just crazy combo to actually go for. That's still very slow. That would have been like a 1, 12, 13, 14. Try to skip the loop? No, guys. <laughs> guys, <laughs> you need to understand not just the amount of speed you're losing, like the, the grip you have. Like if you try this, there is no possible way to stay on this platform. You will fall off. And there's a wall. Like, the car here is is not in control. Here? Oh, that is clean what I just did. Yeah, this is more like it. I have no idea what I did different, but somehow this is one and a half seconds faster, and the other one was like a tenth. This map in full ice was gonna be interesting, yeah, for sure. So you have to tilt the car a lot down here to get a lot up, and then early into the water, full speed. And then early around here, is what I realized. While still making the turn in upper gear. If you do all that, it's two seconds gain. So close to finishing the campaign. Guys, after this, today is uh, Troll Cup of the Day. Every first of the month, they make a dumb track as Cup of the Day. It's not a serious track, it's a... Uh, yeah, anything. Can be uh, like a downhill map with a lot of awkward landings. It can be a booster map, which is tons of boosters. It can be anything. So we're hoping for something, uh, something nice. And after that, khaki is khaki, seven starts. So today is a big day. It's like there's so many things going on. Troll Cup of the Day khaki, new campaign. I don't know where to spend my time. I wanna, <laughs> I wanted to play the ice tracks, but the campaign has taken me so long to complete that um, we might not have time right now. We might have to save it for another day. Okay, well that could work out. Hey, we did it. 
Not a second pain. 112. Skipped 113. Got 112. Got all author medals in the campaign. This took me uh, one hour and 40 minutes. Usually I get them in an hour, but here I, I struggle a little bit. This was not easy. 